Today is Tuesday, September 15th, 2020, and today I'm thinking about tribulation. Matthew chapter 24, verses 29 through 31. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. And I still get some flack every once in a while when I talk about rapture, because I do believe in rapture. I mean, right here is talking about rapture. Jesus is going to send his angels to pick up the elect from the from the earth, from one end of heaven to the other. And of course, the mentioning of trumpets is very interesting, with now one of the biggest figures on the world stage being Trump. And I think that there's just this confusion about tribulation, what tribulation is. Here, immediately after the tribulation of those days, I think it's just talking about all the hardships that we're facing now. People can tell that just the, the blatant satanic agenda is just in overdrive, and it seems like they just have to keep speeding things up. The slippery slope is real, and I think of this as like lowercase t tribulation. The tribulation of those days, you know, all the hardships that we're going through now, immediately after all of the hardships that we're going through now, there's going to be this moment where, you know how in the blink of an eye, everything's going to change. There's going to be this moment where all these things happen at the same time, I believe. The sun's going to be darkened, which they're probably going to say is like aliens blocking out our sun. The moon is not going to give their light. Again, they're probably going to say that the aliens are doing something weird. Of course, aliens are not real. Outer space is not real. And the star shall fall from heaven. And who knows what they'll blame that on or say is happening. And the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Everything is going to shake. There's going to be a massive earthquake. The firmament is going to open up. Everything up in the firmament is going to fall down. What goes up must come down. And, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And I also thought it was interesting, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. It makes you think about the weather up in heaven, because we have the firmament, there's the waters above, clouds of heaven. So I wonder if Jesus is going to be, it'll be like really high clouds. Clouds that are beyond the firmament that is now open, and we'll see Jesus come down from there. I don't know exactly all how it's going to play out, but whenever I talk about rapture, you're going to get people that try to get you to not believe in pre-trib rapture. And they'll talk about stuff like this. Oh, they'll bring you to this first. Look, tribulation happens before. And I think it's just this confusion of lowercase t tribulation. When most of us think of rapture before tribulation, we're thinking of book of revelation when all the vials are being poured out on earth and wormwood. See, the way that this is written Wormwood is going to fall, but at the same time, you know, around the same exact time, the elect are going to be picked up from the earth. And so to me, there you go. We, the elect, will be raptured and get to escape all the vials that are being poured out. And who knows, maybe we'll watch all this stuff go down from heaven. I don't know how it's going to work. But I do firmly believe in what people call pre-tribulation rapture. I think that there's just this confusion about general tribul tribulation, like the tribulation of those days, like all these insane hardships that we've been going through. And what I think of as like capital T tribulation, which is book of revelation, talking about all the vials being poured out, all the plagues that are going to be poured out on earth. Yes. I believe that Jesus Christ is going to save the elect from those, those tribulations from the capital T tribulation. You know, because in the book of Revelation, I, I don't think that they call that tribulation. But in people's minds, when you just say the word tribulation like that, I think that's where people's minds go to the book of Revelation stuff, the vials being poured out, all the plagues being poured out upon earth. And I do firmly believe that the elect will be saved from that. Here's the book of Daniel, Daniel chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. 
And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. This is just interesting. We get new bodies, and similar to how when the Bible talks about Jesus Christ and his glorified body, they talk about how he would shine brightly and you know all sorts of other descriptions that don't sound like just a regular human body. Same thing's going to happen to us. And another thing I found interesting about this is that not everybody is awoken from death. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. But it doesn't say all of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. And this is just, I guess, a one-off thought that I have all the time. You know all those people out there that they more or less live reasonable lives. They're not overly satanic, but they reject Jesus Christ. They don't believe in that stuff. They're total science believers. And what do they believe happens when they die? Most of them believe that when they die, nothing. They believe that they just, it's nothing. And I think that it's like they're they're fulfilling their own wish. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. I think that for a lot of people that they weren't overly satanic, but they don't believe in Jesus Christ and they didn't believe in God and they didn't live their life for God. And they believe that in the end, there's going to be nothing. You know, I think that God might just grant them what they wanted. Oh, you want, you want it for when you die? That's it. And well, there you go. So I just thought this was interesting talking about how not everybody who is dead is going to be awakened, you know, some to life, some to everlasting contempt. So what about those people that nothing happens? I think that it's kind of, they're getting what they wanted. And I'll point out one more interesting thing that somebody brought up in Revelation. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Somebody just made this connection to short time and time being shortened. I think it's become abundantly clear that we live in this era when Satan is in control of what's going on on the earth, you know, in control. Of course, God is totally in control of everything, but anyways, don't have to get into the specifics of that. Just the, the short time. I, I think that it really is palatable at this point that time is shortened. These daily videos, it does it really seem to you guys like I do one of these every day or has it just seemed like a blur? To me, it's just a complete blur. Okay, well, I think that's all I have to say. I do believe that we get raptured and before all the vials are poured out on earth and all the plagues. And I would be weary of people jumping out of the woodwork trying to tell people that pre-tribulation rapture doesn't happen because we know how important belief is. So if you don't believe that you'll be raptured, maybe it's not going to come true for you at least. And yep, that's it. God bless everyone.